What's up, everyone? And all that bullshit. Yeah, I'm wearing it for Uchaliki. She's crazy. She's trying to get me attention. It's Stephanie. The one making the videos is a paid actress. That's why she only did eight of them. And then she found out that, allegedly, the jobs I had, and she was like, fuck, he can scan my face. I don't want to do it anymore. That's why they're classified as entertainment, and I'm daily vlog. Anyways. The only change I can think of is I thought that Corbett was going to have an English interface and they don't, so I'm probably going to have to spend the first month in Korea learning at least enough Korean to be able to differentiate between buy and sell. That's all I really need to do. Uh, I'm so done with this Tiffany bullshit, like, since 2018. Seriously. I, I don't know what else to say other than a lot of people watch my videos that don't give me views. One of them I'm probably going to assume is Mr. Ballin, because I didn't mean to, but I had that tab with the Mr. Ballin show on it. Okay, whatever. He's doing a thingy, a s series of stuff about how, like, the elites control the masses with mind control and all that bullshit. The shit I'm telling you, I guarantee you, he could probably go into a whole bunch more. What do you want me to tell you? That's the way it is. The, the, if it wasn't for shit like Hunter Biden ex it, existing, that there wouldn't shit like this wouldn't happen i'm telling you like the thing that i remember the most is when i found out that it was after 2001 but the old way of doing dns's was it would give you like uh like if you were having aol it would give you like your specific street address okay so i've had people back when i was like 16 17 years old when i was on probation and all that bullshit because they target people who are like having bad family things and whatnot because they spy on everyone literally i would have people who would be like trying to get me to go to like american university and all that bullshit let's come come wrestling with the, with the team at two in the morning and those things ended up being like trafficking operations and people would get shut down and people would go to jail so like they are spying on everyone using computers because you won't learn computers. And if you learn computers, they'll bring you in on some crazy bullshit. I don't know what to tell you. None of this was ever my idea. All I wanted to do was finger bang pretty little Asian bitches and blonde bitches. And I was in like lift weights, play football, do boxing. But because there's so much crazy shit in the world that the adults have been doing when we were kids, we get pulled into this bullshit. It's retarded. It's retarded that a bunch of handshaky, we want to be Templars or Council for Relations or whatever the fuck, I don't give a shit. It's bullshit that you are spying on people and coercing them into being basically sex toys for you because you give them money and all that bullshit and then you blackmail them. That's stupid. That's why I don't want to be involved in any of your bullshit. I didn't want to go to Night for Freedom at all. I was told to go there. I was told it would help me expedite my bullshit. And the concept of... of this is the thing. Stephanie is so jaded that like meeting someone who likes her for who she is is such a foreign concept that she has to get pimp pimped out by a bunch of posers and losers and retards. I'm going to Korea for business. I bought a business flight trip. I have a legitimate reason to go there, Corbett Exchange. I have a bank account me meeting to open up and I'm going to be setting up an art card. I don't give a fuck about K-pop. So stupid. And now, any any time I thought I would be sp spending in between boxing and you know to like go see the nightlife and all that, but now it's gonna be like studying Korean so I can learn how to hit buy and sell without doing anything wrong. So retarded. Because as soon as I get that arc card, I'm gonna be just fucking trading all day fucking long. And I'm hoping that urine spikes soon. Because I keep on just nickel and diming and getting more urine and more. I've almost got four whole urine. If urine goes back up to 10,000, at least I'm loaded. Ugh. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. You don't understand. All she had to do was be honest. I was honest with her. I was honest with them always. They can't handle honesty. When you're honest with them, they think you're lying to you more. Because all they do is lie. I'm, I'm not on board with whatever crazy shit she has. It seems like... Her thing is she's like some high up at her little handshakey club and her thingy is she's like, okay, well, get blackmail on them. That way we can steal their money and they have to let me use it. But you have no blackmail on me. I actually have, if I wanted to, I could blackmail you, but instead I went to the feds because I do things by the book at least as much as possible. I can't smoke weed in Korea, so I'm going to bring American spirits. I have to go get those actually. Thanks for reminding me.
Oh yeah, I'll walk up and get some sushi while I do that. I'm gonna pack and all that bullshit. I'll do one more video before I leave. I'm gonna email the Airbnb l lady, l letting her know my flight's gonna leave soon. And I'm the reason why I'm not gonna even get a license. Well, I can't without the ARC card is because I don't have anywhere to go. My goal is to get the ARC card to trade crypto to come home. I'm not buying tickets to anyone's show. I'm not going to any pop-up event. I'm going boxing and home. If you got a problem with me, I will ask them on day one. Are you guys okay with me telling everyone your gym name? They'll probably say sure. It'll get them more more views and more and more business and whatnot. And if you want to believe Uchaliki and you want to come down and you want to throw fists, let's do it in the ring. That way, it's a sport. That way, no one gets get, gets in trouble. And at least we're bringing in business to the Korean dudes who aren't betas. The ones who are betas are the actors. That's what I've said the whole time so fucking lame i'm gonna get some food and finish packing and i'm leaving soon and i'm literally going to be going there and studying korean because i don't know which button is which i don't know i don't know look i'm going to show you guys it's loading I, I i don't know what that means i don't know what that means Well, there's a there's a siren. It's probably I should know what that means. I don't know what that means, but it's green, so it's probably good, right? So I I, I don't know what that means. I clicked on Bitcoin. I don't know what that means. One two three. Okay, I'm gonna hit the blue one. I hope that that that's good. Okay. Uh. I'm assuming I would send myself some Bitcoin. I would hit on the 100% and then I would hit the blue button for sell and I would be selling it for the market price. But again, I don't know because I don't speak Korean. So I thought that because this exchange caters to, to guilos like me, I was going to be able to have an English interface, but they don't have English interfaces. It's all in Korean. So I'm going to have to learn Korean and that's just all there is to it. And I don't really give a fuck what Uchaliki or Stephanie or any of her fucking poser ass retards are doing because they don't matter anymore. Okay? I told her from day one I thought she was lying. She said, no, she wasn't lying. No, there's no one else. No, I only care about you. And then one day randomly, oh, I'm so sorry I couldn't be there for you before, but I'll never do it again. And then she did it again because instead of coming to see me, she went to go do all the other fashion-y bullshit. No, oh, my manager, my management team, and almost, and almost still my con. And I, don't, I never gave a shit. I never gave a shit because the moment I saw you, we were fooling around, having a great time. I said, let me get a drink. I'll be right back. And I'm coming back with my drink and your drink. And you're talking to all these fucking douchey losers who are known for basically being the P. Diddy's of the, of the uh, alt media. So I just turned around and walked away and left like 30 minutes later. And that's where I left it in 2018. Because everyone you associate with is in some kind of a handshaky club and they are blackmailed and they are involved in anti-American politics. How do I know? That's how I got all of my promotions. Thank you very much. I'll make another video later.